Hey, Bridget, John, I got to tell you this, too. Uh, my wife was saying, hey, maybe for Father's Day we could do a little shrimp on the Barbie. But I'm thinking maybe <laughs> she meant the other kind. You know what I mean? She didn't mean that little, I don't think. I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say the same sort of thing, John. Those shrimps were so tiny, I could see how people might not know they're in the lake. Yeah, being so small, probably not a lot of meat there either. You'd need a lot more of those than your standard shrimp. Yeah, a little hard to see. Yeah, it wouldn't really be right to go mm. after those shrimp, I don't think. Mm. But um, a rainy day out there today, huh? Yeah, pretty wet and uh, probably not a good night for barbecuing. But for Dad this weekend... Looking good. Who Tom's going to get his wish. Yeah, Tom, this is for you, man. It's going to yeah. be a great weekend for you. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that. So we just got to get through this a little bit more of this rainy cycle, right? You got it. And uh, right now it's pretty wet outside. If you haven't looked out the window, we've got a live sky cam shot for you. This is the Williston sky cam looking east. Was a cop there on the median strip a little while ago? Just saying. All right, temperatures out there now, all within a few degrees of each other, thanks to a lot of the cloud cover acting as kind of like that little blanket, so to speak kind of holds everyone within a few degrees. Look, 57 Montpelier, 62 in Burlington, 61 in Saranac Lake. Messina, you stick out like a sore thumb right now, sitting at 68 degrees. Got to tell you, there is some warmth on the way. We're going to see a surge of it for tomorrow. Notice Pittsburgh sitting at 80 degrees. Okay, we'll pump the brakes. Won't be that warm here tomorrow, but certainly will be warmer than it is out there right now. Look at the satellite and the radar picture. All the clouds and the white. You can see some of the greens here on the map, some of the yellows too. Some pockets of some heavier rainfall. So let's take you on a little radar tour here. Right now, out towards, say, places like Katyville and West Plattsburgh, getting in on a little moderate band of some rain now, too. Things lightening up a little bit out towards Malone, out Route 11, but still seeing some rain there, too. We take you over to the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, places like Burke and uh, St. Johnsbury, Lindenville, Barton, all seeing some pretty heavy rain right now. So along portions of uh, I 91, probably uh, watch out for some big puddles there for sure. And then in Rutland and Addison County, some pockets of some heavier rain moving in towards uh, places like Brandon, just to the north of Rutland there, too. So plenty of rain on the map out there for tonight. It is steadiest and heaviest now, although I think over the next couple of hours, the heaviest stuff will at least taper off. What hasn't tapered off has been the winds. It has been so windy. Southerly winds, again, 10 to 20 miles per hour today. If you were on the ferry at all, you noticed just how big some of those waves were. Two to four footers out there yesterday. I think we could see some big waves again for tomorrow, too, because what you're looking at right now is our Futurecast wind cast. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice what Futurecast is picking up on. Southeasterly winds, again, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and we do that all day long. So tomorrow is basically the wash, rinse, repeat, quite literally, of today. We'll have the winds. We're going to have the rain, too. And I think tomorrow night we could even get some thunder bumpers out there, too. Messner's favorite word. So, future cast for tonight. You can see some of the heavy rain that's still continuing here, especially across some of the northern sections. But overnight, you notice things at least quiet down for a little while there. But as we get to the day tomorrow, this cold front starts to march its way east, and here comes some more rain. This is 5 o'clock in the evening, the uh, potential little line of showers there. And again, as the front pushes through, that will be overnight Friday night. I think we could actually get a couple of claps of thunder out there. No severe weather, but we'll find certainly. Some heavier downpours. But by Saturday morning for Father's Day weekend, look at that, a little bit of clearing starting to poke in there by the morning. Clearing sweeps through from west to east. I think by Saturday afternoon, it's looking fine and dandy. And then Father's Day itself, A OK for dad, for sure. Forecast tonight, we're going to drop it down to about 58 degrees. Hold on to the clouds. We'll see some periods of rain too. Forecast for your Friday. Rain in the morning, more in the form of some showers, but certainly some steadier rains and even some thunderstorms as we take in tomorrow night. There's the five day plus two. Ah, sunshine for Father's Day, up to about 80 degrees. Dads shouldn't have any complaints. The only reason the ball isn't going in the hole is his own doing, for sure. Don't let him fool you. Uh, but the rest of next week does look uh, kind of damp there. We'll keep temperatures low 80s, but kind of those summertime pop up showers and storms starting Tuesday, really, and continuing into Thursday. Yeah, great day for some golf this weekend or barbecue, like we said earlier. Mm -hmm. it's, it's looking really good. I'm glad to see that. It's always, it's always helpful to get through all of this rainy weather to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it falls on our weekend. Yeah, you got to love it. Another weekend to do that. All right, thanks for that.